So in this video I'm going to be talking about the conventions that I've used myself in this plan of a uh, review. So obviously here I've um I've made a double page spread, which is obviously as I said in my previous video it has to be. And as you can see there I've got a central character, which in this case would be our actor. Obviously it's just a random person at the moment. And then on the left I've got at the top there I've got a border and then I've got what um appears to be a picture from the Lord of the Rings cutout, which obviously would be relevant to my short film, probably a still from the actual film itself, or a still that I've taken in the day, as I took quite a lot. And then over the top of that, I've got a quote, which, um, you know, is a positive quote from someone, which, as you can see, is in bold text, and it goes across columns, or even page, or even the page um, crease, say. And this is also quite a common convention. Um, as you can see there on the bottom... And the sort of the lower half of the left page, you've got two columns of text and a quite a large title. Now the column, the columns don't start on the very edge, just to give it a bit of a bit of an edge to it. You've got uh, say nine rings for mortal men, but not for Pete. He's surpassed that status. You've just got that bit of quirk on the left there, and then a little thin line just to um, divide the two. And note also how at the bottom left of the page, you've also got. You might not be able to see it because it's quite small, but you've got uh, the page number, and then just the just divided by a little line again, you've got Hot Dog, which is actually the name of the review. Also, something I haven't uh, mentioned is that I would actually have a border around this poster, just like you have that orange border at the top, which, as I said in my last video, has DVD, so obviously that uh, states what this review is actually of. It's obviously, obviously of a D DVD. Um, so on the right of my... Uh, my subject there, I've got some more scenes uh, with writing saying, oh, he shut it, and then um, just general pictures. Um, sort of, this is more of a cut from the film itself. Um, so yeah, that's something I could use again and again, like a still kind of thing. And then on the right, you've got you've got more column. And this actually, this isn't, I haven't really focused on the words here. However, this column on the top right could be perhaps my stats of the film. Like I said, films often... Uh, film reviews often have stats in a little box that could potentially be that and then again you've got a still from the scene from the short film itself just below that top right bit of text and then at the bottom bottom right you've got um, a little rectangle of text there and again you've got the page number and the magazine itself so for example if I had to make it on this this uh, magazine if I had to base mine in this magazine review I'd write the page number and then a little dash and then hot dog because that's the name of the thing on of the magazine so yeah this is just a little trial run of um just a collage i've made of uh, a magazine review and it's basically the kind of thing that i'm going to include in my own so yeah thanks for watching